Hi, my name is Martha Holland. I'm a registered dietitian here at Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare, uh, and I'm also a certified diabetes educator. And we have a question today. It says here, can nitrates in hot dogs make you ill? What is too much, and are turkey hot dogs any better for you? Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, nitrates and nitrites. I'm going to use the terms interchangeably because chemically they're very similar. And in fact, if you put some nitrates in foods, uh, depending on the food and how it's handled, it can actually change to a nitrite. So I'm going to use the terms interchangeably. Um, these nitrates and nitrites are uh, similar chemical compounds, and they're most noted for uh, being food additives. They're uh, a chemical that is used widely in industry, everything from dyes to pesticides. <laughs> but uh, what we're talking about here is their use in food. Because many years ago when we didn't have refrigeration, these kinds of, of additives to food would make food safe to eat because uh, they don't allow the growth of botulinum. And so that was a really good thing. But we have refrigeration now, so it's not as big a deal. However, these uh, chemicals do are food additives, and they do add color, and they do add flavoring to processed meats. And if you don't put them in these meats, they don't look the same, and they do not taste the same. So people like them. Um, the problem is that when we begin to overcook uh, products like this that have nitrates in them, that uh, carcinogenic uh, chemicals form called nitrosamines. And that is the problem. That's what's come up as being a, a concern. Nitrates are also found in foods naturally. Spinach, beets, celery, uh, radishes, and cabbage have them naturally, and those are not an issue. It's only the ones that, that uh, food processors add. Since the 70s, um, there's been a concern about limiting uh, nitrates in foods, and in fact, they have been limited. So it's not, there's not as much in food as there used to be. But more recent studies indicate that um, these kinds of uh, chemicals may cause pancreatic cancer, heart disease, diabetes, stomach, and colorectal uh, cancer. So therein lies the problem with that type of, of uh, additive. The other flip side to that are, are hot dogs, and that is that according to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, the U.S. population consumes about two, uh, 20, 20 billion hot dogs a year. Now that's a lot of hot dogs, and so that's going to be a lot of uh, nitrates and, and nitrites consumed. You can look for nitrate-free hot dogs. They're not exactly nitrate-free, but they're not using the chemical version. They're using the natural version that's, that is, comes in, in vegetables. And so those may be considered better, although they're not great. The other thing to consider about hot dogs is that they do have a lot of salt in them, and they do have a lot of saturated fat. Now, a lot of times people think because something is a, a turkey hot dog that that makes it better, but that isn't necessarily true. Because you've got to remember, we've had low-fat, fat-free foods on the markets for decades, and nobody's getting thinner and nobody's getting healthier. So that's not necessarily a better choice, okay? Um, and if you look at some of the hot dog labels, the third ingredient, which really surprised me, the third ingredient is corn syrup. Now, doesn't that sound good to have sugar in your hot dog? Um, so really hot dogs are not that great. If you want to, to continue to use hot dogs, you might look for some of the organic uh, hot dogs and just be sure, and you may even need to call the manufacturer to find out whether or not uh, they're using the vegetable-based uh, nitrates in their food, okay? Also remember too that a lot of people who eat hot dogs are children and if one adult eats a hot dog and it has, may have an effect on their body, if that same child eats that same hot dog, that their body's a lot smaller, so the impact may be a lot greater on that small child, okay? Um, the last thing to remember, too, is that <clears throat> I was looking up some information. It said Dr. Walter Willett, chairman of the nutrition department of the Harvard School of Public Health, stated, what is very clear is that consuming processed meats is related to a higher risk of a wide variety of health problems. If you tweak the cured meat a little bit, like some of these new products do, that's no guarantee that it's going to make it any better. So the bottom line is hot dogs are processed food and our society really needs to, to eat fewer processed foods. So I hope that answers your question and don't forget to come, um, that for the upcoming nutrition lectures that are coming up. Thanks.